Welcome back to Blender Daily! In this tutorial I want to demonstrate how you can match the perspective of real images with the camera in Blender. This can be really useful for example if you want to play 3D elements in your photos. I'm going to demonstrate two different tools to do so in this video. One of them is FSpy which is 100% free. The other one is the Perspective Plotter add-on which is pretty new and costs $15 on the Blender market. So let me show you. Okay, so let's just start with the Perspective Plotter add-on. And if you haven't done this already, we first need to install the add-on to Blender. So just go up to Edit, open the Preferences and then in the Add-ons tab click on the Install button. Locate the zip file that you just downloaded from the Blender market, select it and choose install add-on. I've already installed it, so I'm gonna search for the perspective plotter, which appears right here. And then it is really important that you also make sure that this checkbox is ticked, so that the add-on is actually enabled. And with this done, we can close the user preferences. And in order to now get the perspective plotter tools, we need to be in the camera view. So let's press numpad 0 to get into the camera and then press N to open up the side panel. And right here you should find the perspective plotter options. This panel is only available as long as you are in the camera view. So if I exit you can see that it disappears and it comes back once I get back into the camera view. And before we can start to match the perspective we need to load in a background image to our camera. So let's just select the camera, go to the camera properties, enable the background images, add image, and then I'm just gonna load in an image of the interior that I already prepared. And here we already have our first issue. The image is squashed down, which is happening because my camera has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. However, the image that I loaded in has a different aspect ratio. Luckily, this is very easy to fix, since we can just go to the Perspective Plotter add-on and click on this red Background Unmatched button. And once I click this, it's gonna adjust the resolution of my camera to match up with the image in the background. And in this case, the image has a really high resolution of more than 7000 pixels, which is gonna give me troubles once I want to render. So if you get a really high resolution, I recommend you to bring down the render percentage. Okay, so now we're finally ready to start matching the perspective. And for this, simply click on this Plot Perspective button, which is going to give us those four lines. Two of them are green, which represents the y-axis, and the other two are red, which stands for the x-axis. So now to match the perspective, we simply need to align them with parallel and perpendicular lines in the image. So first of all, I want to align this red x-axis with the wall back here. And you can see as soon as I start to move those points, the camera and the perspective adjusts in real time. Then the second x-axis has to be parallel to the first red line that I already placed. So I'm going to align this with this line on the ground right here. Then the green lines, which stand for the y-axis, have to be perpendicular to the x-axis. So I'm going to place them on those walls on the left and the right side. And now the perspective is already starting to match up. But I want to make this really precise, so I'm going to zoom in with the scroll wheel. And if you don't have a middle mouse button, you could also use those buttons over here to zoom in and out. And this one to pan around. Then just zoom in a bit and try to align those points as precisely as possible so that we get a good result in the end. And now the add-on already knows the exact perspective of the camera in this image. And we can see this even better if we take this white point in the middle and start moving it around, which is gonna move the camera and allows us to place the cube exactly where we want it to be. So in this case, I'm just gonna align it with the ground plane down here and you can see that this grid that we have is now also perfectly aligned with the ground in the image. And since the perspective is matching up, it really looks as if this cube was placed in this room. We could also replace this with any other 3D elements. So for example, I can bring in this model of the sofa, uh, which is currently way too small. 
but I don't recommend you to use the scale tool to scale it up. Instead, I would go in here and play with the camera distance, which is gonna bring the camera closer and make the scale match up. Then I can also rotate it on the set axis or move it around on the ground plane and the perspective is always gonna match up. Once you're happy with the perspective matching, you can click on this plotting button again to disable all the overlays. And if we go out of the camera view, you can see that this camera is now placed exactly in the same way as the original camera was when this image was shot. And in the camera properties, you can also see that it estimated the focal length to 17 millimeters, which is pretty accurate. Another thing I recommend you to do is down in the background image settings, bring up the opacity to a value of one. So now we can see this background image a bit better. If you want to know how to take this further and render it out with accurate lighting, shadows and reflections, I recommend you to watch the Shadow Catcher tutorial by Karim Joseph on this channel. Okay, so next I want to show you how we can get a similar result with FSpy. FSpy is a free software that you can download from fspy.io. On this page, simply scroll down and then choose this download option and get the corresponding version for your system, so either Windows, Mac or Linux. Then go back again and we also need to download the official FSpy importer add-on. On this page, go to code and then choose download zip. I've already downloaded FSpy, so I'm just gonna open it up and then we can take our interior image and just drag and drop it in here. And again, you can see that we get two green and two red lines and again, the green ones stand for the Y axis and the red ones are for the X axis. So let's do the same thing again as we did with the perspective plotter add-on and just align them with the lines in the image. And this time you can hold down shift to precisely align those points with this magnifying glass. So again, I try to make this as precise as possible align those two red lines with parallel lines and then bring the green Y axis to the walls on the left and right side to make them perpendicular to the X axis. And once you have all the lines in place, you can take this point, which is going to be the origin point later on in Blender and place it on the ground. And we can see the perspective even better if we enable a 3D guide and switch this to the XY grid floor. And now you can also see that this grid is perfectly aligned with the floor in this image. So let me just place this origin in the middle and then I want to go up to file and save this. I'm just going to call it camera and then save it to my system. With this done, we can now jump into Blender where we want to import this camera that we just created. For this, we first need to install the FSpy Importer add-on. So open the preferences, go to add-ons, click on install add-on, select the zip file that we downloaded and choose install add-on. And again, it is important that you tick this checkbox so that the add-on is actually enabled. Then go up to file, import, and here you should now find the FSpy import option. So select this, go to wherever you save the camera. Again, select it and choose import fspy project file. And now you can see that this brings in this camera and it already set our image as the background, as you can see in the camera options. And I just wanna bring up the opacity and it also adjusted the resolution accordingly. Again, we have a very high resolution, so I want to bring this down to something around 25%. And the perspective is also perfectly matching up and this cube is really placed on this ground plane. And same as the perspective plotter, it also estimated the focal length of the camera. You can see this if we change the unit to millimeters that it also estimated something around 17 millimeters. So in conclusion, I can say that both the Perspective Plotter and FSpy are great tools. The biggest advantage of the Perspective Plotter is that it is built directly into Blender, which makes it a bit more intuitive to use. It also comes with some handy extra features like keyframing, 
perspective modeling or flattening out of the horizon. You can get a lot more information about the perspective plotter add-on on the Blender Market product page. The link is in the video description. I think the price of $15 is definitely worth it as it makes the perspective matching process very simple and intuitive. However, if you are looking for a free alternative, FSpy will be perfect for you. And again, if you want to know how to take this further and render 3D elements into an image with realistic lighting, shadows and reflections, check out the Shadow Catcher tutorial by Karim Joseph. That's it for this tutorial, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you want to download the Perspective Plotter add-on or FSpy, you can find all the links in the video description. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.